Hi everyone, it's Susan Seipel coming to you from the beautiful Gold Coast in Australia. Uh, it's really disappointing that we can't be traveling and competing right now because of the coronavirus. So let's look back and relive some of our past races. Okay, here we go. The KL2 Women 200 meter final from the ICF World Championships in Hungary last year, 2019. Here's the lineup. Um, there you can see I'm in lane two. So one of the outside lanes. The lane draw comes from the results of the heats and the semifinals. And you'll find that the fastest qualifiers are in the middle lanes. And um, I did a bit of uh, research before and I found out that this year would have actually been the 10th year of the para canoe events being integrated into the ICF World Championships program. So it's pretty disappointing that uh, we don't have a World Championships this year due to the uh, COVID-19. Um, but next year, I guess we'll have to celebrate our 10 year anniversary of Para Canoe at the World Championships, which I believe are scheduled uh, later in the year in Denmark. So I hope that I'll be there for those celebrations. So a lot of um, differences you can see in um, progression and growth in the sport from, you know, the 10, 10 years ago, um, a lot of changes as well. Uh, one, I think that's quite notable, if you look up the results from uh, 2010, was that athletes were classified into a class, but they were also allowed to compete in um, a higher classification. So you'll see athletes in, in different classifications because if, for example, they're, they're classified in uh, KL1, they were also allowed to compete in KL2 and KL3. So um, obviously that doesn't happen anymore. I think it was ruled out around uh, 2014 when I started. Um, not 100% sure on that, but um, yeah, definitely um, doesn't happen anymore. And I think Obviously now we have so much growth in the sport and we have um, so many numbers of athletes that we, we, there's no room for that anymore. All the classes are pretty full and we have heats and finals and semis. So um, I think back 10 years ago, there wasn't even enough athletes to fill every class. So they, they made that an option. And there we go. Uh, the race is all over. The 200 meters, it's it's a quick one and there's no room for error. You've got to get out really well at the start, um, get the boat up and running and see how long you can keep your speed up all the way to the end of the line and just hold on really. <laughs> That's how I race it anyway, so uh, congratulations to Charlotte Henshaw from GB for um, such a strong performance and um, Emma Wiggs uh, was second, I think, yes, and um, I got in for the bronze, so pretty happy with that.